of the Yarn Jewelry Podcast. Welcome back to another video. In this video, I'm going to talk about the iHearts Granny uh, collab. This is a collab that I am doing along with Seta of Seta's Place, Ella of No Catchy Name, Rebecca of Yarn and Pajamas, and I believe Cindy of Cindy Hearts Crochet has also decided to join us. And there's uh, quite a few other people that even don't have YouTube channels that are working on this bag as well. And so uh, the more the merrier, I think it's great. Um, so anyway, I working on this, this kind of kicked off, well, we started it on the national, it was last week on the 15th, what was it, Thursday? I think the 15th was National Granny Square Day. And so I found this pattern. I sent it to Seta and, and Ella and a few people. Uh, I think Rebecca also. Anyway, I sent pictures and I thought, what do you think about this bag? And so Seta suggested, uh, she's like, oh, I want to make it. Let's do a collab working on it. And so I said, oh, that's great. And so I had other people interested that wanted to join. And so we kind of loosely threw this collab together and the, you know, there is not a whole lot of rules as far as you have to make it by and get it finished in one week or by, you know, by a certain period of time, work on it however you want to work on it. Um, you know, we st we tried to start it on the same day, the National Grain Square Day, but besides that, there's no really um, other rules about it. <laughs> so, uh, I just thought I'd come on here and do a little progress report to show you how much I've gotten done. So let me go ahead. I'll pop the picture in here. This is a picture from the pattern where um, that I saw and, and what made me want to make the, the bag. <laughs> so here it is right here. And as you can see, it's, it's a big granny square that looks like it was folded in half. And it's got some small granny squares across the top on both sides. And then the, you stitch them up. And then there's some rings at the top of it, which are handles. And... Um, so, oh, I, I do have the rings. What do I do with them? I'm looking. Oh, I don't know what I did with them. They're under some of this stuff here. My desk, as usual, is a mess. I thought I had them right here and I could show you the rings. Uh, well, I do have them. I just don't know where they're at right now. They're here. Anyway, so I'm going to go ahead and put the rings because, oh, I found them. <laughs> so I've got these, see? I had bought them for something. I think it was something that was like a, I was gonna, like a doily type thing that I was gonna stretch onto the rings. And I might do that, I have some more of them. But anyway, these are the rings I'm gonna be using. And so instead of using, a, using mine as a handbag, I think the idea that I was gonna use is I was going to just hang it by these rings um, on either my pegboard or put a command hook or something, you know, on the wall in my craft room and hang it. And I'm going to put the things that I work on throughout the year that I don't ship off. Like, okay, so like my preemie hats, I don't ship them, but I don't hand them in until I get a bunch of them made. And so I'll just put, drop things in there that are, it's like a holding space for that, for those preemie hats. So then once I'm ready to then give them, I can then just take them out of that bag, in other words. So I'm going to be using it like as a basket type thing. So if it turns out really big, oh, and that's another thing. Uh, Seta, she's further ahead than I am, and she was saying that it's turning out very large. <laughs> if you do the eight granny squares across, those little ones. And so she's doing six because uh, for what she wants that's a good size for her. So see, it's like I said, it's a very loose collab. If you need to alter the size or anything, that's fine, do your own thing. I think Ella said that she was gonna do different handles instead of the rings, no problem. <laughs> so uh, let me go ahead and show you. I Since Seta said that she did six, um, and her little squares are measuring about the same size as mine because we were you know, talking back and forth about them. I went ahead and did six and stitched them together because I wanted to see what the width would be. And so there's six of them. I'm just using scrap. Uh, I did pick a main color, which is Red Heart Super Saver in Royal, because as you know, I've got lots of dark blue. Well, this is not real dark, but I've got lots of blue yarn in there in my craft room. So I went ahead and decided to use that for the main color. The rest is just gonna be scrap balls. Um, and so, yeah, so here is that. 
to kind of give me an idea as the width. So that's six of them. The pattern actually has eight of them. And I think the yarn that they're using is, they said a four weight yarn, but I think it's a thin four weight yarn. If I would have done this in a DK weight yarn, it'd be smaller and, and so I could see maybe the eight, you know. Anyway, so I did the six. I haven't done the other side yet. And then I started, I thought, okay, well, I'll go ahead and start working on the big part just to see what it's looking like, you know, the size wise. So here's my square so far, just using scraps. Uh, the pattern says to turn each round, but I'm not gonna do that. So that square is going already kind of leaning, but it's no problem. I mean, you're folding it in half, you're not even gonna notice that. So I decided not to turn it. <laughs> um, so let's see, am I showing you the front? Yes, that's front. So that's what I've got so far. Now, if you fold this in half, the bag's going to be like this. And then if you put it on there, I think, yeah, I, I don't, it's still not big enough to, to go all the way across for the six. But look how shallow it's going to be if I, use, if I do that. So I was thinking I might go ahead and do the full size and do eight across. It's going to be, you know, really roomy inside. And yeah, just go with that. So I think I'll do that because, like I said, it's not quite reaching the six yet, you know, reaching all the way across for the for six, but but we'll see. I'll still work, I'll keep working on it and see what I think. Okay, so that's what, what I'm thinking about that. Um, I'm using a 3.5 millimeter hook, which is what they use. I, you do not chain one in between the shells because you want to minimize the amount, the size of the holes between them, you know, between the shells. Um, I am going to try to line it though. Now, I'm, a fun uh, thing that Seta did is she found a tote bag. I, I think maybe, yeah, she talked about it in her video, her update video. She found a tote bag at Dollar Tree that was exact same size or the width wise as her six squares. And she's going to be using that to stitch on the inside of her bag as her bag lining. I thought that was a great idea. So I may do that. Uh, see if I can find a big tote bag that's that size. If not, that's okay. I'm going, I'll line it. So the yarn that I'm using, I have these containers. I think it was peanut butter powder or protein powder, but they're really good heavy duty jars, uh, plastic jars and it, with a big wide mouth. And so I hate throwing them away when they just seem like they're a good sturdy plastic. And so a lot of times I'll hang on to a bunch of them. So see, I think like I said, this was peanut butter powder or something. It does have the screw on lid, my hubby fixed up, uh, attached some pegboard um, hooks to the top of the lid part. So that's attached to my pegboard. All I do is have to, all I have to do is screw it on, you know, to the lids that are already on my pegboard. And then they're hanging from my pegboard. But anyway, I have um, a bunch of the, I have this one, just scrap balls, different sizes. I have this one, that one's got a lot of white, I, that's why I put a round of white in here because I'm trying to use up some of these neutral colors too. Uh, I have this one. <laughs> and then I have this one, which I don't even remember what was in this one. But this one's actually a square, a rectangular. This, I don't remember what was in it. No, I was going to say animal crackers, but I do have one of those. That one looks like a bear, you know, those jars. But I have zippers, I think, in that one. <laughs> but same, I'm hooking it on my pegboard same way. Anyway, so I have all these little scraps of these little small balls of yarn. And so that's what I've been using to pick out colors. That's why I wanted to do scrappy, you know, to try to use some of these little small amounts. So uh, that is my progress on that. Uh, I still plan on, uh, I was talking about how, okay, so when you, when you fold this up, then you're going to um, build, or well, you stitch, you stitch, you know, this on either end, on either side, because you want to leave it open uh, across that square, the, this strip, and then you build up from that a little bit before you have put the handles on it. And so I was thinking to keep it from stretching, that when I do that build up part, that I would hold some like fishing line or something along with my yarn to keep it from stretching. 
And so I was talking to my husband about it, and, and I even think I could use, instead of fishing line, I think I could use um, crochet thread, like what you use the doilies with, and I have some blue. So if I hold it along with a strand of this, and then, and, and then that crochet doily thread, that's also blue, um, I don't think it'll be noticeable, because it's, it's almost the same shade of blue. Uh, and then use that when I'm building up that top to keep the stretch down, you know, for the handles. I think I'm going to try that. <laughs> I'll let you know how that goes. Okay, the rings, I'm going to go ahead. I have this tray here from Dollar Tree that I've been putting my stuff in. So I'll go ahead and put those rings in here so I won't forget them again. I forget where I put them. And let's see, I have my, yeah, I have my hook in here. So yeah, that is my progress on the I Heart Grannies collab that I'm doing with these, all these other ladies. Now, of the of the ones that I know, Ella, Cindy, Rebecca, and Seta, okay, I will put all their channels down below in the description box so you can check out their I Heart Grannies collab bag and the progress on theirs, how they're doing with it. And of course, while you're over there on their channel, go ahead and check out their other videos as well and subscribe to their video their channel if you haven't already they've got some great content <laughs> um so yeah go ahead and check those bags out and um i think that is it uh this is the same day that you're also seeing my crafting with friends friends video coming out the same day so if you haven't seen that one check that one out too it should be post they should be posted pretty close together um and I think that's it. I hope you're having a wonderful day. Come back tomorrow. We'll do have another visit for the regular Yarn Joy podcast episode. I'll show you the other things I've been working on. And so until then, have a great evening. And we'll see you in the next video. Bye.